What if one vehicle could do it all? Fight, defend, rescue, and even float across rivers? At Indo Defense 2025 in Jakarta, we got an up close look at one machine that might just redefine what battlefield versatility means. Meet the Robden 8x8 Infantry Fighting Vehicle, developed by Al Jasur, a subsidiary of the Edge Group, a rising force in defense innovation from the United Arab Emirates. This heavily armored amphibious beast is turning heads with its speed, modular design, and survivability. Al Jasur's program manager Basil Kadam calls it a top-tier platform for mobility and protection. And if we take a closer look, it's clear this vehicle is built for more than just show. So what makes Rabdan so special? Designed for today's complex high-threat combat zones, the Rabdan is a multi-role 8x8 platform engineered to handle anything from urban warfare to desert patrols. Its amphibious capability gives it a unique edge allowing forces to cross rivers, flooded terrain, or coastal zones without hesitation. On the road, this machine can hit speeds over 105 km per hour, and even on water, it glides at 9 km per hour, a serious feat for a vehicle of this size and weight, but speed is just the beginning. Off-road, the Rabdon showcases its true muscle. It climbs 60% gradients, handles 30% side slopes, crosses 2 meter wide trenches, and surmounts 0.7 meter vertical obstacles with ease. Whether you're facing mountainous terrain, muddy forests, or debris filled streets, this vehicle keeps moving, fast and steady. This level of performance ensures that troops can rely on Robdon to maintain momentum during both offensive pushes and emergency extractions, no matter the terrain or environment. But mobility means little without protection. Built for survivability, the Rabdan offers high ballistic resistance enhanced by modular armor options. Underneath, it's reinforced for mine protection, and its all-around IED defense means it can take a hit and keep on rolling. For operations in contaminated zones, its integrated CBRN system shields troops from chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threats, ensuring full mission capability in the harshest environments. What really sets the Robdon apart, however, is its modular adaptability. As Kadam emphasized, the vehicle is fully configurable based on mission requirements. It can operate as an armored personnel carrier, command post, recon vehicle, mortar carrier, ambulance, or even a recovery vehicle, each variant purpose-built without sacrificing the platform's core performance. Speaking of recovery, the Rabdan recovery vehicle deserves its own spotlight. Powered by a 720 horsepower engine, this version isn't just tagging along behind the front lines. It can maneuver with armored units across rough terrain, recover damaged vehicles under fire, and even perform ground engineering tasks. Its dozer blade can clear debris or reinforce positions, while the long boom crane can lift turrets, power packs, and armor kits with battlefield precision. And even if a disabled 8x8 vehicle has lost a front axle, Rabdon can tow it back, no questions asked. This ensures that even the heaviest battlefield losses can be mitigated quickly, preserving both equipment and personnel under extreme conditions. From firepower and protection to recovery and support, the Robdon 8x8 isn't just a vehicle, it's a complete battlefield solution. And in an age where adaptability often decides the outcome of war, platforms like this could define the next generation of ground combat. So is the Robdon setting a new standard for modular armored warfare? We'll let you decide. Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more military tech deep dives. Thanks for watching.